Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Leroy Gangs here. Coming out to give us some more Astral Ascent. Today, we're just going to be uh, uh, doing a review of, like, the Coral Archipelago update. Um, now, before we talk about anything, I want to talk about the, the character that was introduced, Octa. Uh, Octa's really, like, he's, he's a really interesting character um, when it, when uh, compared against, like, Isla and Kieran here. Um, and, and the fact that he's ranged and his his skills interact a bit differently than, than, their, than theirs do as well. Like, they're skills kind of feel more like combo based and then like um octa feels like way more of like like a like a strange deep like super strange dps which which is cool like like i i i messed with that a lot that's, that's pretty cool um and that, that that's like that's like my my like take on on, on octa is like the character his story not fleshed out um the game's not finished which is fine um i, I would love to see where it kind of goes especially as the game kind of finishes but we'll we'll see um let's let's talk about the let's talk about the new area uh, the the actual coral ar archipelago here arch archipelago um now the enemies are pretty menacing like this base form no elite modifier at all they're way too tanky for what they are and they do a lot of damage it, it makes it like you you learn pretty pretty early on it's like oh maybe it's not worth to actually fight these guys uh which which is why uh you you can see in like like the like the earlier videos ad i was ran past them. i was like ah no, I, I messed with that ah uh because it's, it's just not worth fighting them um but like the the bosses though ooh, i i love the interactions with like scorpio and 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 pisces and all the characters I, I really enjoy that. I I actually like Pisces and Scorpio as bosses more than I do any of the other ones because they actually feel like challenging boss fights rather than just like um kind of like mini bosses almost. Like Scorpio and, and Pisces, they slap. It's pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed fighting them a lot. Um now it's stuff that I didn't enjoy again the the baseline enemies kind of insane um no way to to like i would say guarantee or better, better put like this the moon and the sun rooms right now if you get those later in a run they're really good because they're already leveled up and you can slam some gambits and some peddlers which i'll talk about in here in a second um and then and you can you can actually get like a really good like all build if you get them early in the run they start out super low level and you have to dump in all of your resources for the rest of the run to make them good um such as pavo feathers and stuff but you can say that about any spell right now here's here's the thing that gets me you have situations like that where, where you're basically you get a random spell at the beginning of a run right um and that spell you're kind of forced to go because from that that moment it's 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 they can just throw a random amount of pavo feathers at you and that's the only one that's a viable upgrade choice because it a starts out at a higher level most of the time or b starts out with an affinity or both which is kind of something but anyway um i i don't like the, that you can that you can't really build stuff in this game like it's it's really rng dependent meaning that like if you haven't gotten a room like Andromeda's Bar, a Gambit room, a Peddler room in a long time, the game doesn't go, oh, maybe you should have that once a floor. You can just go floors and runs without seeing those. It's pretty insane. I've, I've, I have more than enough footage of that happening. Um, but like, it's, it's, it's still something you can play around, uh, uh, definitely. Now, something that you can't play around i'll say that was really weird uh where'd my thing go there we go that's weird um now something you can't play around is the destiny system um something that's forced difficulty and you don't really get a reward from forcing that difficulty higher and and, and here's what i mean right now you don't get stronger spells you don't get stronger gambits you don't even get better gambit rng you don't get better spell rng you don't get better RNG on sun or moon rooms. You don't get better slot unlocks on spells. You don't get better slot unlocks 
on sun and moon rooms you don't get a damage increase there's nothing to actually spend these uh dusty fragments on as far as like a progression tier system it's all you get is more sun fragments or these these star fragments which you really don't even need to do because it makes the game less fun in my opinion like like this as as soon as you get to to dusty level four here and and, and you have to pick between enemies spawning non-stop doing a boss fight it already has its own difficult pattern in your in your loading in enemies like like the third floor boss of, of just like aoe spamming enemies that are way too tanky for you to one shot ever um apart from like you getting two level 10 spells and just god running anyway um or you have an elite modifier which gives them double health more damage and something that can literally cripple the entire boss fight because the room isn't meant for it so like eh, like I, I i really hate this choice in particular but it gets even more like exaggerated the the further you, you kind of go down and 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 do some stuff with it um and i and i really hate that i i don't enjoy the dusty system there's no there's no pro to it at all i i don't recommend it if if you're just doing it to like be like oh you know i i can try and mess like mess with this run it, it's the same template as as, I, as i've done in like the past like 30 videos now where where it's just like you run past all the enemies. Hope to God for God RNG. If you get it, cool, you win. If you get Ordon's Fury plus level 10s and stacked, you win. Um, but as as far as like an actual point to it, there's none. Zero. Zip. But like, you get more Star Fragments, which you don't even need because the stuff in the game is pretty cheap anyway. Um, and it's you're way better off just having fun on like base difficulty where you can actually kill mobs and it's actually like feasible to, to like go through without just projectiles flooding your screen as a, as a way to increase difficulty it's 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 not it's not a good thing so i i i again the last time i reviewed this game i i said hey i hope that i hope the destiny system gets some tweaks i'm being even harsh this time because it has gotten zero tweaks so hopefully whenever the game is finished slash close to being finished slash before then um they they do something with the destiny system i hate it it's it's a like awful new game plus system you don't get anything out of it and, and and like i said you don't get better rng on anything you don't get better slot unlocks you don't get better stats nothing no, nothing to kind of like go with this exponential like difficulty curve of the uh of the definite of like the destiny system there's there's nothing to go with that it's just like oh yeah cool it it seems to me like they just threw it in there and they really shouldn't have because it, it's it's a like a it's an unfinished product as like uh, on an unfinished product so it's 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 like i don't know it, it feels very weird but everything else in the game i love the characters the story the voice lines even though there's a lot of gr grammar stuff that's pretty wrong but whatever um the spells all the spell all the spells feel, feel pretty unique now there's some that are like i hate but a majority of them i really really enjoy and it, it feels good to like go through and progress the system and and kind of like be in this living world that's like changing right and this game's not even finished yet so so i i guarantee you like the best part about this game is going to be the soundtrack and the story the gameplay is not bad but it's it's it's, it's nothing compared to the other two now if they fix the destiny system this instantly becomes one of my favorite roguelikes of all time because it's it's it, it's a an actual good way to progress versus like um think about something like hades right like like hades had the heat system and you might be like oh well i mean you just got more and more heat but you didn't get anything out of it wrong you got uh the like materials like titan's blood and stuff that you could like upgrade your weapons more outside of the run making your inside of the run even stronger by increments right um so so uh, i'm saying is either a Give us better RNG on stuff or increase the, the destiny level or B, uh, just give us something to spend the destiny fragments on maybe, um, uh, as, as far as like upgrades or, 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 you know, something we do. I, I've, I've no real like suggestion for other than like stat upgrades, like, but I, I kind of feel like that's what Zim Zim's for anyway. Um, also, I don't know what they did with this update, but the uh like what's it called the elemental system 
was so strong before. Now I don't prioritize it at all. And I I I go, oh cool, that's that's just like an like extra 10% damage, like a Pavo feather. And full stacking a, a boss with just like it loads uh shitloads of debuffs, it doesn't feel like it does a whole lot anymore. Which like I definitely agree that it was pretty strong, like a, a little bit too strong before, but now it just feels kind of like Lester. And I'm just like, ah, it's, it's, it's not worth focusing on. You pretty much get spells and then you just toss them away as soon as you get one that's stronger. Like it's, it's, it's kind of like that. And, and it feels pretty bad, but I mean, maybe that's just like the, like the way the game right now, because like I said, you, you can't build anything. You like, you don't have any way to guarantee either upgrade affinity or level of a spell. Um, and there's no way to increase that RNG. You can literally go runs where you just get shitloads of upgrades. Sometimes no upgrades. Like, it's it's whatever. But, again, so, going through, pros. Pros of this update. The environment, great. The story, awesome. The bosses, far fucking none. I loved it. Enemies. Over it seems. Thin down. That's weird. Holy shit. They, I should not... Find a pack of enemies of three or more and go, that is harder than a constellation boss. That's weird. Um, also, like, the sun and moon stuff kind of feels cool when you get it, especially if you're just doing, like, a Destiny level, like, zero run or something. Um, you, you, you like, really feel, feel kind of, like, impressed with it. But... It's, it's just like another tier of like stacked RNG that you have no control over whatsoever. So it's like, ah, eh, eh, you, you, can, you can do with or without it, to be honest. And and like I said, if you get it early in the run, you're just, you're, you're going to just toss it away. Um, as soon as you get a stronger spell, so it doesn't matter. Like, are you going to use a level one spell or a level six spell? You might be like, oh, we did the gambits. It doesn't matter. The gambits are shit. So. Um... Kind of, kind of, kind of weird with that, but nonetheless, again, pros like the story, like like where the where the overall game progression is going. I just don't like how they kind of do the new game plus stuff, or actually building inside of a run. That has to kind of be tweaked a little bit, I think. Um, but like I said, like like the game's not finished, so like I am being kind of harsh here, just because the last time I said the Destiny system should be changed, it got zero changes at all. And I don't know if they really plan to change it before the game is done. So hopefully they kind of do. But nonetheless, uh, that this will probably be the, the, like the last last uh, video for me again until they come out with another uh, another update or, or big update for the game. Because um, I because I, I I've unlocked everything now uh, that I can as as like apart from like just doing like random achievements or whatever like whatever. So if I if I go to take a break and then go. Play. So I have 63% game progress. Um, now, uh, now, of course, I don't have all the dusty fragments or anything like that. But I don't like the dust. I don't like the dusty. Like it's 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 not fun. That the, the dusty the dusty fragment system doesn't feel fun. Not worth to me. Um, but everything else, I like I like a lot. The third area enemies, going back. The bosses, great. Keep it up. I love it. Um, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know if you guys disagree. And then what maybe I could have worded better. Or if you think that uh, I, I might have touched on a point, but I didn't really go too far in depth with it. And you want to you want to talk about it in the comments? We can. Yeah. If you guys enjoy the content, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned until the next game I play. Until next time. Oh, also, if you guys have like a roguelike in mind you want me to play, uh, you, you guys can, can post those as well. I think I'm going to finish up Soulstone Survivors and then might go on to uh, I, I don't know no idea. but nonetheless guys thanks god thank you for watching until next time peace